Hello and welcome to Mondays, a home to discover, uncover and share an Easter egg or secret, new retro, big or small, Mini Egg Mondays will cover them all. Before we tackle a full episode covering the secrets and references of the secret of Monkey Island, episode 14 of Mini Egg Mondays looks into two Easter eggs, one that backfired on LucasArts and the second that refers to the rival company, Sierra. In the EGA floppy disk versions of The Secret of Monkey Island, while scouring around the forest maze in search of Carla the Swordmaster, Guybrush can stumble upon a tree stump. By looking at it in the more modern versions, especially the CD and downloadable based editions, the next passage was removed. You see, Guybrush would say, hey, there's a hole at the base of this stump. Wow, it's a tunnel that opens onto a system of catacombs. I think I can squeeze through. The game would then prompt you with the following messages. Insert disc 22 and press button to continue. Then insert disc 36 and press button to continue. And finally, insert disc 114 and press button to continue. After not being able to insert any of these since the game only came with eight, Guybrush will stand up and say, oh well, I guess I can't go down there. I just have to skip that part of the game. So as a result of this particular joke, the LucasArts hotline was flooded with calls from consumers in regards to their missing discs. Back in the days of the classic point and click adventures, thanks to LucasArts and Sierra, two of the biggest names at that time, rivalry was of course bound to happen and on the odd occasion the two poked fun at one another. It is in part 3 on the secret of Monkey Island when Guybrush eventually arrives on Monkey Island that he can now venture through the jungle to the river fork, cross a bridge and climb up two sets of footholds where he'll now be able to admire and take in the views across the land. At this point Herman may strike up a conversation once it's over, guide Guybrush over to the right hand side of the outlook towards the protruding section which upon standing upon it, it instantaneously gives way, causing Fleetwood to fall to what appears to be his death, prompting a box that is in classic Sierra style, reading, oh no, you've really screwed up this time, guess you'll have to start over, hope you save the game. The options of restore, restart and quit also appear, but they are not needed as not long after thinking Guybrush has died like you might do in a typical Sierra game, he will now bounce back up, landing safely on his feet, claiming he landed in a rubber tree. Hey everyone, this is James, and if you ever want to know what else I get up to, then you can always find and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you're new to the channel, then why not subscribe and become part of the journey as we explore secrets, Easter eggs, and glitches every single week. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.